Okay guys, so today it's been a couple of days since, well, the Roblox time has happened. And well, there has been a lot of people starting to, well, give their opinions on the event. And well, it has pretty mixed opinions on it. So I want to give my thoughts on the event to see if it's that bad. So let's not waste time and let's talk about it. So let's start with the first one, the lobby. Now, controversial take, but I like the lobby. Okay, look, it looks like the Ready Player 2 lobby. I, I I don't know why. It's probably the portals. Aside from that, yeah, I don't have much to say about the lobby. It looks cool, and the Easter eggs as well are very cool. And one of my favorite Easter eggs is where one of the characters from Econ 2018, Gerd, actually appears in one of the portals, or has a chance of appearing. Which, uh, look at him go. There's a cool Bloxy Cola, a Plank for some reason, and also the best one is the Man Face, because because peak. So yeah, the lobby is pretty cool. And there is actually a rocket on the sky, which I'll talk about that later. Yeah, a pretty decent lobby, not gonna lie. Okay, onto the prices. So, the prices. I actually do like them a lot. I don't know why people are saying that this is bad. Like, I obviously disagree. Like, shut up. Especially the free ones. They absolutely look amazing. And it's because they have particle effects. Which looks amazing. And there's also a Roblox Battle, battle pass. pass. Never in a million years would I have been saying that. And honestly, I don't really mind the Battle Pass system. I know that's kind of controversial. But, yeah. but if this is how they can fund the event, then sure, go ahead. Although, I don't like how the golden items are for the Battle Pass exclusive. But, Again, it's too funny event. But there's one medium problem that I have with this event. And that is the fact that there is not much items in the event. Like there are like five items and the crown is like 95. Holy crap. But the hood is like 65. So like why? Which leads me to another problem. The limited time offers. Now this makes me a bit mad, like Roblox could make these free, I don't know why they're paid. These are expensive, like these cost like a thousand each. At the time of recording this, they are a bit cheaper, like 500 and 800 each, so I guess it's fine. But wait, that's not the craziest thing. This item right here, this reskin of the sword pack, now you may be thinking, oh it could be not that bad. Well, you're absolutely wrong, because it's not 1k, no no no, it's actually 32. 2k robux what yeah that's not an edited image that's a real thing that's more than the headless and core block combined okay update at the time i was recording this the sword pack actually went limited which honestly that makes the item 10 times better it's still unconfirmed that other items are gonna go limited but we just have to wait and see so yeah, honestly, hopefully they can fix this and make them cheaper. So yeah, that's kind of the main thing on the lobby and stuff like that. It, it's fine, I guess. Anyways, on to the big one that you probably were waiting for, for me to talk about. The games. So, the Roblox games is literally what makes this event have mixed opinions. And honestly, I wish I had my own opinions on this. Like, dude, I haven't even completed the entire event, yet that's for another video soon. But I did play a lot of few of them, like 21% of them. So, what's the problem with them? Well, most of the games is just, hey, play this game for 50 minutes straight. Or having to complete the most annoying task ever. I'm looking at you, game fam. And there are some, it's just complete these boring quests and etc. And it's kind of like the main problem with that. And we had this problem for like years now, for example, like Econ 2020 and Metaverse Champions. And they were just there to make some money, and that's pretty much it. And get that sweet premium payout, oh yeah. But don't worry, not all of them are bad. There are actually good ones that actually tried, like Arsenal. This is amazing and looks very fun. Army Battles is obviously the best one. There's a lot of cool reference, like Half-Life, and it is just cool in general. It is just cool. Peggy is amazing. As well with the quest looking amazing. Cowlock Avatar Creator is amazing. It takes the classic Roblox to a whole nother level. And finally, Doors. Honestly, it has a very cool like quest and stuff like that. The timer and stuff like that is just very cool. It is very cool. So yeah, that's all of the games that I pick inside of my head. I know there's probably a lot more and bad ones out there, but I haven't even completed all of them. So that's for a separate video. So overall, what did I think about the event? Well, here's my review. It's it's okay. Look, I like the event. And the reason why I liked it is because I had so much fun with this event. Making videos, theories, and so much stuff. I mean, hey, this is literally the event that got me 100 followers. So, which, thank you, by the way. It makes me extremely happy. So that gives the event, like, one point. But is it better than Econ? 
Absolutely not. But was it a decent event by himself? I think so. While it had many problems, the event was still fun. And since Roblox is actually giving feedbacks on this event, who knows, maybe the next event could be much better than this one. So yeah, that's my review on the event. Comment down below your opinions on the event because I want to see your guys' thoughts on this. Anyways, I need to complete this event, so yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.